Hi, this is Dr. Don. I'm going to show you very quickly how to run a basic simple linear regression using the Excel Data Analytics Tool Pack regression tool. And while we're doing that, we're going to create the scatter chart that goes along with it. So here's our data. We've got the number of Starbucks stores in each state and the population in each state. And we're going to start by going to data. Go to data analysis. And we're going to drop down here and find regression. And we want to input the Y range. And I'm going to say that I want number of Starbucks to be on my Y axis because I'm kind of thinking I want to say does population predict the number of Starbucks. So I'm going to put the number of Starbucks, the population rather, in the X column. And I always like to double check to make sure I've got matching ranges. Regression in Excel requires matching ranges. I've got labels at the top. I want to put my output range on this page. So I'm going to click there, get my insertion cursor flashing, and pick that point. Now to get the plots, I want to click on down here in the residuals, the line fit plot. And if you want to look at your residuals, you can click the residual plot. And that's useful, but I'm going to cover that in another video. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And Excel gives us our output and of the regression. And we get a little chart here, but I'm going to expand that, of course. And we see that we've got our uh, actual data points in blue. And they've added these orange squares, which are the predicted number of Starbucks. Now you can leave that if you want. What I like to do is add the trend line and the regression equation. So I'm going to click just on one of these orange dots to click, select them and click delete. And so I've gotten rid of the predicted. Now I can click on just one of the blue dots, the actual data, right click, add trend line. We get this secondary menu over here. Yes, I want the linear and I want to show the regression equation and R square, and I want to click that off. So here we have our basic chart. The reason I like creating the scatter chart this way is because the equation of the line and R square will always match exactly what is in the actual regression calculations. Sometimes when you create your scatter chart separately, you reverse the X and the Y, and that kind of messes things up. So this is a quick way of getting the regression done and the scatter chart. So hope this helps.